So for those of you who didn't see this by now, I recently actually did my official 2023 NBA mock draft. And in that video, I did of course talk about who I think the Toronto Raptors should of course select. Now with the Raptors, I've definitely got a lot of different opinions on how their season has gone so far, but the best way I think of summarizing it is the old expression that you almost have to take a step backwards to go two step forwards. And I, I feel like that's what the Toronto Raptors have almost done this season. And they actually have kind of found themselves with a really good, you know, a pick and a definite, a definite lottery pick so far, especially where they of course are in the standings. Again, before I get into the video, on who I think they should take. I would like to say a couple things, first and foremost being that the 2023 NBA Draft Lottery hasn't, of course, happened yet. So I will just be basing this pick off the standings and where the Raptors are right now. Of course, where they are on the NBA, they will actually be selecting with the 11th pick at the time of making this video. Of course, the other thing I would like to say is, as mentioned earlier, this will be a clip from my official 2023 NBA mock draft. So if you guys would like to go and check that out, I do highly recommend it. I will be linking the full thing down below. That way you can see who I have all the other teams taking and whatnot, and why I might not have taken the player you want with this pick. Perfect example being, I might have taken him with a previous pick. But again, go and do it. Go and check out that video if you haven't already. But without further ado, here's who I think the Raptors should select with the 11th overall pick in the 2023 NBA Draft. Again, in today's video, I will be starting off with pick number 11. And at the time of making this video with pick 11, we actually have the Toronto Raptors who have definitely had a really interesting season. I feel like this could honestly be one of those seasons that's kind of put as a best perfect example of, you know, going a step backwards to take two steps forward. And at this pick, I think they've actually got a player that's really, really nice and has fallen directly into their lap in this mock draft that I've done. And that's actually going to be Kaysen Wallace. Now, I think Kaysen Wallace is actually a really, really special player who honestly just fits exactly what the Toronto Raptors seem to look for when they're looking for, uh, you know, a player to not only draft, but a player to actually fit into their system. That's kind of already given away what he's good at, and which is, of course, defense. But this comparison is just absolutely awesome and something that I can definitely see really working for the Toronto Raptors. And he's actually being compared to Drew Holiday, who we know is one of the best defenders in the NBA. Some believe is the best defender in the NBA. And I think he will potentially finish top three nearly in defensive player of the year so far in 2023. It's an absolutely awesome pick for the Toronto Raptors. It's being said that he's a productive scorer that can create his own shot. He's very capable of potentially becoming a very consistent three-point threat as well as being able to stretch the floor from all parts of the court and being really nice as a catch and shoot type of player. He's also a really nice ball handler, um, but he definitely does need to work on his left hand dribble, it's being said. And it's also kind of said that he can potentially switch from the one and the two with quite ease and comfort as well. He's a six foot three point guard who again really does have that Drew Holiday type of mold where he's a pretty decent scorer, pretty decent playmaker, but most of all this guy is an absolute threat when it does come to being a good defender. And I just think this absolutely fits into exactly what the Toronto Raptors are looking for because if we actually take a look at their team right now, we're not entirely too sure if Fred Van Vliet will be staying. I've heard words that Toronto wouldn't even mind if he's left, if he does leave, sorry. I'm not too sure what everyone's opinions are going to be on that, but it doesn't exactly fit the system that they're trying to do in Toronto. I also believe that the Toronto Raptors' long-term plan is to potentially have Scotty Barnes run as a bit of a point forward. We know he could definitely do that really, really well in college, and they have experimented with it a couple of times since he has been in the NBA, but I have a feeling if they go and get a dude like Kaysen Wallace, who they say to him, hey, 
you're, you know, again, you're a pretty decent playmaker, you're a pretty decent scorer, but you don't have to really rely on anything with that on our team. All you got to do is rely on as being the best defender you possibly can, and then all the other things will come. I think that will be an absolute perfect fit for the Toronto Raptors. Like, just imagine being able to have Case and Wallace and, you know, Scotty Barnes potentially share the ball and run the point guard duty. So I think it'd be a really awesome thing and if you if you bring him in let's just say van vliet maybe goes or something like this type of situation happens they could legitimately have a starting five that looks like wallace at the one um potentially barnes at the two ananobi at the three siakam at the four and Pirtle at the five geez that would be probably the best defensive starting five in the league and if you're wondering well where's the scoring gonna come from because you'd be relying on pascal siakam quite a bit we know that Ananobi has really been wanting to be a big shot creator on a team for quite a bit, and I think he'd be able to step into that. Not just that, you've got a couple of really, really awesome scorers off the bench to, to really help this team. I definitely don't think it would be a bad idea at all to maybe go for a guy like Kaysom Wallace at that point guard position. And again, Gary Trent off the bench, add that scoring. Yeah, it'd definitely be a really scary thing to go against that starting five. Not only defensively, but I think there's a lot of potential offensively as well. And that's honestly just the ultimate scary threat about this. So having Case and Wallace, sorry, drop to them with that 11th overall pick is kind of just a match made in heaven for them. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think the Dallas Mavericks should, of course, you know, trade for Jet Howard? A couple other things here and there. What are you guys' thoughts and opinions on all the picks I've made so far? Uh, definitely don't forget to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Go and check out all my other... 2023 NBA mock draft videos. I'll hopefully have a playlist link down below where you guys can, of course, go and, you know, check all that stuff out. Links down below. Of course, subscribe to my gaming channel, my Euro Slash Vlogging channel, and my podcast. All of them will be linked down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.